Putin's a monster. He's committed atrocities of the worst kind. He's a genocidal maniac. But that does not give Biden a pass on what he's doing to our country internally. His policies are destroying the United States of America. They are destroying our economic system. They're destroying your pensions. They're destroying whatever salary you are receiving, whatever bonuses you receive. They're driving up medical costs. They're creating food shortages. Next thing you know, listen to me, we're going to have brownouts and blackouts and gas shortages. What are we going to do? Like we did in the 70s, even in odd days, you can fill up your car. It's coming. And it's not because Russia invaded Ukraine. It's because the Democrats invaded the Oval Office and Congress. These are their policies at work. Remember what they said. They embraced Bernie Sanders, who you don't hear from anymore. Gee, I wonder why. They embraced this Marxist agenda of rejiggering the entire society, of destroying fossil fuels. You remember that document about 120 pages in length that Bernie Sanders and Biden put out? The most radical screed in American political history? It could have been written by Marx and Engels. That's what they're instituting. Whether it's cultural, whether it's economic, whether it's political, whether it's immigration, they're going through this. His staff, the people he has surrounded himself with, who are the radicals of the radicals, this is what they're instituting. U.S. government debt, U.S. government debt, ladies and gentlemen, is over $30 trillion. When Biden took office, it was about $23 trillion. $30 trillion dollars. It's unimaginable. That percentage of the GDP we haven't seen since the height of World War II, and we are surpassing it in peacetime, relative peacetime. That's number one. Number two, the interest on this debt as interest rates go up as they must, because the currency is being devalued with inflation. As the interest rates go up, we have to pay the interest on this debt. This takes a bigger and bigger percentage of the federal budget. We haven't had high interest rates for over a decade. Now they're going to start to kick in. So you folks are going to see high inflation. You're going to start to see shortages. You're going to see costs going way up, supplies going way down. This is the horror that is created by the left when they abuse the laws of economics. The laws of economics are just as correct as the laws of physics. You can't change them with legislation. You can't change them with borrowing. Mankind has experienced this sort of thing before, whether in Germany or Zimbabwe or Venezuela or wherever you look. You keep printing money and printing money and printing money. You keep creating economic dislocations. You keep creating situations where people don't know where to put their money, they don't know what to invest in, research and capital, they're not sure where to go, and so forth and so on. You're having a war against fossil fuels. And what happens? You get less fossil fuel. We were energy independent 18 months ago, 15 months ago. Now we're begging Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for oil? No, Putin didn't do that. Joe Biden did that. Chuck Schumer did that. Nancy Pelosi did that. The Democrat Party did that. That's who did that. Never forget. So we have around 30 to $31 trillion in debt. And Biden wanted to add, I want you to remember, the Build Back Better nonsense, another $6 trillion. Where would we be today with that? Let's look at this country. Are we better today than we were four years ago? Cities across the U.S. are breaking all-time homicide records this year. Wow. And it's not just homicide. It's violent crime across the board, and it's not just violent crime. You see how people are stealing things from stores, willy-nilly and so forth. Utter lawlessness. What's the Department of Justice doing? Chasing down parents in front of school boards. Going after Republican legislatures where they disagree with what the will of the people have to say in a particular state about abortion or putting sensible voting laws back in place. What's the Department of Justice doing? They have 13,000 special agents in the FBI, give or take, 13,000. How many of those 13,000 are focused on going after people who are quote unquote parading or trespassing on January 6th? They say it's the biggest investigation they have going today. The biggest one in the history of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Not terrorism, not the mob, no, not sex crimes, 
not the, the Mexican cartels, January 6th. So how many of those 13,000 special agents are busy looking at video? They say they've looked at 20,000 hours of video. We got to get those trespassers and those paraders. Yeah, we all agree about violent crime. Of course, the media don't and the left don't. They were all fine with violence in the summer of 2020. I mean, that, after all, was liberating. Now, let's look. Are we better off today than we were four years ago? Look at Afghanistan, a horrific surrender that resulted in the murder of 13 American soldiers. Look at Russia, threatening to use nukes against us. Would they have done that under Donald Trump? Look at Iran, getting nukes from this president. Would they have gotten nukes under Donald Trump? No, they were barely surviving under Donald Trump, economically and otherwise. China, producing more nukes than ever before. They weren't doing that under Trump either. I'd say our foreign policy is, a, is an abject disaster, absolute disaster, and a grave threat to the United States. Look at our classrooms, the reason we have a parents' movement, because Joe Biden, the Democrat Party, and their big government, teachers, educational bureaucrats, unions, have taken control of these classrooms. They don't want parents involved in the teaching of their little babies. They're pushing transgenderism and sexualization. They're pushing critical race theory. They're pushing all kinds of the hard left Marxist agenda on your little kids. The one thing they're not pushing is education. And then we have these executive orders. Destroying women's sports. Title IX. Womanhood. We can't even define a woman anymore. We have a historic appointee, we're told, a black woman to the Supreme Court of the United States who can't even define why she's historic. What am I talking about? She wouldn't define what a woman is. Why? Because she wants to be free to rule in a radical left way when it comes to these ideologies. They are destroying womanhood and women's sports. And then in my view, we have the most corrupt president in American history, potentially. The former mayor of Moscow's wife invested three and a half million dollars in the Biden family. China has invested tens of millions of dollars in the Biden family. Uh, the former Ukrainian regime invested millions of dollars in the Biden family. Uh, we don't know about Joe and Joe Biden's S corporations. They haven't released their tax returns on that. So they invested millions in the Biden family. What do we know about this other than what some of these intrepid reporters have been doing? Not enough. Shouldn't we know if Joe Biden is the Manchurian candidate? Shouldn't we know if he's been bought off and sold out? I think we should. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.